Previously on Survivor. The majority alliance of Margaret, Mario, Ryan, Lauren, and Ethan had grown stronger than ever. I think we're all like honestly friends. And without much of a chance at all, Max was sent home in a 5-3 vote, leaving Aaron and Ellie on the bottom. I don't know how it's going to be for uh, Aaron and Ellie now going forward, it's two against five. After winning back-to-back -back immunities, however, Aaron took the opportunity to exploit every crack in the five. Here's the thing, it's either Mario or her. And I told him, I was like, I'm going to shop this idea around to other people because you're not the only person that can pull this off. And all hell broke loose. Why was she checking my location? <laughs> That's so annoying. Why was she checking my location? Margaret and Ryan are not going to stick with us, and we need to flip on them before they flip on us. In a very contentious tribal, Aaron and Ellie sided with Ryan and Margaret to blindside Lauren, making her the fifth member of the jury. Lauren, the tribe has spoken. Six are left. Who will be voted out tonight? I was very amused that not only did the flip that I was in on happened, but also that Ethan and Lauren also flipped. So Mario was the only one of the original, the, of the five alliance that actually voted the way they were supposed to. Like he was so distraught after that I was like, have we just like ripped his innocence away? You acted so well, like I kind of forgot I were. You seem genuinely upset. Like, I would 100% believe it if I were on the other side. I think our biggest asset, uh, my alliance, Super Mario Bros, this whole game has been the fact that they've kind of thought we're working together and then we're able to play it off like we're not. We are Guys, we are the We are the We are literally half of the game. Ultimately, having Mario throw a vote on Ellie, he could claim he didn't know any sides of the plan. Although Mario did know everything that was happening, we wanted to pretend like he didn't so we could keep our options open with who to work with going forward. I didn't even get an apology. Like, Ryan and Mario didn't text me. They were like, hey, I'm sorry. Like, they could have lied. Hey, I'm sorry. We didn't have a choice. Like, I just, it's so sad. Um, but also, like, that was the first tribal that went my way in so long. In, like, five tribals, that was the first tribal that went my way. So, like, did it feel great? Absolutely. Like, I think I might be friends with Ethan, but I also didn't vote with, with Ethan last week, so <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Mario, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Tribal Council was terrible because Lauren went home and I was like, no! And like, she was sitting there one minute and the next minute she's gone. I'm like, is Lauren really out of this game? Honestly, I still have my office from like freshman year of high school and I wear them to the grocery store. Lauren was the only person from day one that I trusted 100% and now she's gone. So now I'm forced to work with people who I don't want to work with. I don't want to work with Aaron or Ellie or Mario or Margaret or Ryan, which is everyone left in the game. It was probably the lowest point that I felt 
throughout this game because worst case scenario, am I next? Like, do I have to, is this like a must win challenge type of thing? So for today, <clears throat> first I gotta take back immunity from Aaron. Thank you. So immunity is back up for grabs. For today's individual immunity, you will be playing a trivia challenge. All the questions are all or nothing. So you have to get it completely correct. And if you do get it correct, you get a point. And once you get a point, you get to step up one step. And once you get to the top of these stairs, you win individual immunity. So the first question is, what fraternity is Tommy a part of? Five, four, three, two, one, reveal. The correct answer is Phi Delta Theta. So Aaron, Mario, and Ryan are ahead with one point. Ellie, Margaret, and Ethan are behind. Next question is, who were the last two people picked for the schoolyard pick? I do not remember that. Three, two, one, reveal. The correct answer is Tommy and Peyton. Aaron is the only one who got it right. Aaron will move up one step. Aaron is at two points with Ryan and Mario at one point, everyone else at zero. Who did Peyton compete against in Survivor Sumo? Five, four, three, two, one, reveal. The correct answer is Hannah. So Margaret, Mario, and Ethan got it right. The next question is, how many buffs were at the counting challenge? Five, four, three, two, one, reveal. The correct answer is 21. Who got that? What? Margaret and Ellie. <laughs> Ellie, you, you have to go, yeah. So Ellie, Ryan, and Ethan are at one point. Mario, Aaron, and Margaret are at two points each. This question is, who has the most votes cast against them? Everybody ready? Reveal. The correct answer is Lauren. Who got that wrong? Nobody. How many votes did Tommy receive at the tribal council in which he was voted out? Five, four, three, two, one, reveal. The correct answer is three votes. So Aaron, Mario, and Ethan will go up one step each. Now Aaron and Mario are ahead once more with four points with Ethan, Margaret, Ryan, and Ellie behind. The next question is, who was wearing a Taylor Swift shirt at the first challenge? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. The correct answer is Big Ryan. What? <laughs> So Ellie, Margaret, Aaron, and Mario take a step up. Aaron and Mario are still ahead. Next question. How many times was the letter A a correct answer in the storytelling challenge? Five, four, three, two, one, reveal. The correct answer is two. So Ryan, Mario, Ethan, got it correct. So Mario <laughs> is now in first place with Aaron in second place, Margaret and Ethan in third, and Ellie and Ryan in fourth. Next question, how long did the 100 piece jigsaw puzzle last? Five, four, three, two, one, reveal. The correct answer is 37. Of course you know she yeah. was <laughs> 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 Next question. Oh, 
So the only person to get it right is Aaron. So Aaron, step up. We've got Mario and Aaron tied for first place once more. How many votes, including re-votes, did Andy receive at the Merge Tribal Council? Five, four, three, two, one, reveal. The correct answer is 12. So, Margaret. Oh, because he couldn't. Oh. Margaret, you are the only person to get it correct. So, Margaret takes one step. Now, Margaret is in second place, Ethan in third place, and Ryan and Ellie in fourth place. Who won the Survivor sticker in the Survivor auction? Five, four, three, two, one, reveal. The correct answer is Kevin. So everybody but the people in first place. <laughs> so now Margaret <laughs> is in first place with Aaron and Mario. Who led the crazies in the story from the storytelling challenge? Five, four, three, two, one, reveal. We've got, <laughs> Ethan answered Genki Hall. <laughs> Mari answered Alexander Hamilton. Professor Barry Castle. Bonnie Castle. Bo Professor Bonnie Castle. The students. What? It's supposed to be James Madison. <laughs> James Madison. Um, Aaron is the only one who got it correct with Professor Eccles. Who got the second flag in Capture the Flag in the in the second challenge. Five, four, three, two, one, reveal. We've got Kevin, Peyton, Andy, Andy, Mario, and Mario. The correct answer is Peyton. So Ryan's the only one who gets it right. Next question. What state is Max from? All right, everyone's ready? Reveal. We've got Connecticut from Ellie, Illinois from Ryan, New Jersey from Margaret, New Jersey, New Jersey, and New Jersey from everyone else. So Margaret, Aaron, Mario, and Ethan get it correct. What sport did Kevin play at varsity level in high school? Five, four, three, two, one, reveal. People have either lacrosse or soccer. The correct answer is soccer. So everyone but Aaron and Margaret get it correct. So now Mario and Aaron are tied for first place. Margaret is in second. Ryan and Ethan are in third with Ellie in fourth. It is still anyone's game. Next question. Who was the fourth person out of the coin stacking challenge? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, reveal. Ryan and Ethan answer Mario. Everyone else answers Kevin. The correct answer is Kevin. So everyone but Ryan and Ethan get that was a point. Swift line. <laughs> so Aaron and Mario are now two points away from winning with Margaret being three points away. Next question. Who were the two matchmakers in Survivor Sumo? Five, four, three, two, one, reveal. Ellie and Andy. So everyone but Ryan and Ellie get it correct. So now Aaron and Mario are each one point away from winning. Margaret is two. If Aaron or Mario get this correct, then they win individual immunity. If they both get it correct, then we will go to a tiebreaker round. If neither of them get it correct, we will move on. So the next question is, what club sport does Peyton do?
Looks like everyone's ready. Reveal. Everyone answers Quidditch, and that is correct. So Mario and Aaron, you guys move on up. You guys will be doing a tiebreaker challenge. The person to get closest to this number without going over will win individual immunity. If both of you go over, then the person who gets closest will win immunity. How many total votes have been cast, not counting ones nullified by an idol and not counting re-votes? Ten. Five, four, three, two, one, reveal. So, Aaron, you say 70. Mario, you say 75. The correct answer is 99. So, Mario, you win individual immunity. Congratulations, Mario. <laughs> you have a guaranteed one in five shot at winning this game. Um, you guys have a whole week to be free for Thanksgiving break, so enjoy your break, and we will come back after it ends. General consensus, thank God. Erin didn't win immunity because she needs to go home yesterday. She's killing it. She's doing great. She somehow, I mean, from the jury's perspective, she flipped an alliance of five completely against each other while being at the bottom. That's pretty impressive. I guess for Mario, I'm happy that he won because at this point, I guess I could say he's my closest ally, but it just makes me more vulnerable to tribal council. I think we should text Ethan and ask if he's talked to Mario. Yeah, so yeah we, so that we'll would make, make the most sense. Yeah. I guess the best argument I've come up with is like that I'm the swing boat and that if you keep me around, like I can help you get out the big targets. Okay. Well, we can't Scratch let that. him know that he's the deciding vote. Obviously, last tribal did not go as I wanted to, but. I respect the move because I'm assuming you guys are working for Aaron and Ellie now, so that kind of leaves me on the bottom. Ethan pretty quickly texted me and Ryan. Obviously, he was thinking he was on the bottom, so trying to get back in it. Yeah. So we need to kind of just we need to explain on everything what happened, happened last night. Okay. Because Aaron came to us like right before the tribal, and she told us that we should flip on Lauren and that you guys were flipping on Margaret, and that if we didn't flip on Lauren, they would just hold you guys and flip on Fish. Yeah, it was literally either me or Lauren. Somehow, Aaron and Ellie ended up with disproportionately so much power in yeah. that vote. They literally could They could have decided they to, Margaret or Lauren. They could have picked either side, like, easily. Yeah. And it wasn't, I honestly think we all got played. Right. Right. Here's what I think happened, and I think it was a very good move on your part. I think you got the entire first year alliance to flip on itself, and then you guys could choose whichever side you wanted to go on. I think I think <laughs> exactly what I thought happened would happen, which is that that week everyone turned from me being like, "Come on, flip! Come on, flip!" to being like, to being like, because "Can I flip with you?" Because Erin is someone that I've wanted to get out in this game for a very long time. She's a huge threat. She's great socially. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel, but. I'm willing to write down Aaron because I feel like otherwise Aaron is my number one target right now. Like, Me too. If I get out Aaron, then that leaves Mario, myself, Margaret, Ryan, and Ellie. Margaret and Ryan are going to be tight, and that leaves Mario and myself at the bottom. And, you know, Mario does have a pretty tight relationship with Margaret and Ryan. He's very on board. He wants well, to get Aaron out too. He seemed like yeah. he had, he was like totally on the bottom, which makes sense. Um, and he basically came to us, he was like, you guys, I, I hope that you don't vote me out. I know it's an easy vote, you could just vote me out easily, but I think you should go for Aaron and I would be willing to go for Aaron. Whereas if I get out Margaret now, I would still be tight with Aaron and Ellie, but I don't wanna vote with Aaron the next tribal council. So then I'd have to somehow figure out a way to get Margaret out, but at the same time be able to work with Ryan and Mario for the final five tribal council. I don't see Ethan flipping on us yet again. I feel like he's with us over Aaron and Ellie. 
So it's definitely going to be a tricky vote, but um, I'd rather take the more risky vote and try to get out the person who I want than, you know, guarantee myself in a final five, but then right after I'm the number one target. So do you have a plan? Um, I have, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, I would love to hear it. I would love to hear my plan. I would love to hear it. Okay. Um, the plan, the obvious plan is we vote out Ethan because the four of us voted together last week. I think that's an incredibly short-sighted plan. I think so as well. Um, welcome back to my show. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, on my show. You see, I was doing damage control. I, I loosened the reins on this game, but I was still controlling from the passenger seat. I, I, I got out the car, and I switched seats. I switched from the driver to the passenger seat, and I did that on purpose. I, I don't personally don't want to vote out Ellie. <laughs> No, I hate my I don't, I don't have anything. I saw uh, Ellie today, and like every time I see her, it's like a bright to my day because she always like says hi to me. I'm like, hey, Ellie, how you doing? But that doesn't mean that I still don't have my range. You guys know I always have my range, and people need to figure that out. If I were to go to the final three, I think I would lose against the final three. So, you have Ethan, and I'm assuming you have Ellie. So that's three votes. Oh, yeah, that's three votes. So, if Morgan and Ryan are still together, that's three votes. If I throw a vote, you win. He was like, what if I don't vote for Margaret? but I don't vote for who Margaret's voting for. Because then that way, like, there's no way they can have a majority. Is that okay? Yeah, let's go with me. All right, but the catch is I want to vote for you. Okay. I think that it would make the most sense okay. if I just throw a vote your way. And then he was like, well, is it cool if I vote for you? And I was like, dude, you can do what you want, but also, like, if you vote for me, and accidentally vote me out because Margaret and Ryan vote for me, like, I'm going to be annoyed. Like, fuck you. Fuck you and your vote for jury management. For me, Ethan would be the obvious vote. Ethan would be the obvious vote. Mm -hmm. But I'm still ready to make a big move. Okay, so who are you trying to make a big move on? Margaret. Yeah? Yeah. I think it would be a smarter thing to do. Alright, bet. I think Ryan thinks it's in our best, his best interest to take me and Ali to the final three. One, because he said so. Because I do want to be in the final three with you. Like, I, I see, I don't know that I you. believe that. You don't believe that? No, I don't think you do. Who do you think I want to be in the final three with? Not me, because you think I'll get the upperclassmen votes. Which means like this much. I think I would rather not sit next to her on the final three, just because she's so like, everyone likes her, you know? Yeah. And it makes sense to me for Ryan to want to vote Margaret out, because I don't think he thinks he can beat her. I think you might be right. Are you gonna vote me no, out? No, I'm not voting you out. I promise you, I'm not gonna vote you out. I wanna sit next to you at the end. Okay. If I wanted to vote you out, I would have to go to Ellie. And do you think she would wanna vote you out? Clearly, yeah, she's <laughs> writing my name down this week. That's a bad <laughs> answer for that. I'm not gonna vote you out. You okay. just have to trust her on that. Okay. Cause right now, what if I told you Ryan wants to go on Oh, that changes things. Yeah? Wow. I mean, yeah, that changes things. Are you game to? I never said that I wouldn't vote her out. <laughs> Aaron's helped me out a lot of times in this game, like, just talking to people when for us, like, for our alliance. I told Margaret, like, I'd, like, work for her and everything, but, like, we gotta get her out. Yeah. And I, I can't, story. like... But honestly, like, I probably wouldn't be in this game if Margaret hadn't helped me out in so many ways also. Your positive presence on the tribe, <laughs> and like, I don't really want to lose that. So. In this game, that's one of the things I've realized, like, you have to be selfish. There are three people in the game that aren't us. Okay. Mario is safe, so at least Margaret and Ryan. Ryan? has said that he wants to vote out Margaret. That brings up a lot of warning bells for me because it's like, I just get a feeling it's like something's off. 
So I say we just wrote out Margaret with Ryan. Yeah. Do you think he's actually telling the truth though? Yes. So, so with this vote. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure you've heard um, who I told Aaron I wanted to get out. Yeah. So, so what do you think about that, first of all? <laughs> so you wanna, you wanna go for Margaret? Um, that's what I told Aaron. Right, Here's so. what I'll tell you though. When I met with him, I met with him and Margaret, and they basically come, came up with this genius plan to do some split vote thing. So two for you, two for you, and then whoever you two for, that would result in a three-way tie. But if and they would re vote and they basically said and we would re vote to take out you. Yeah. Obviously for Ryan it makes sense to have a plan to tell Margaret. Ryan reached out to me and said Ethan. It's the I don't like is Ryan not with Margaret then? Like what is Ryan doing? Right. I don't Ryan's gonna tell one of us one way and the other the other way. And if he's lying, he's lying. You know, he's lying to one of us, and if he's lying to me, then he's lying to me. Let's say Ryan is lying. What would then you suggest to do? So, like I said, Margaret and Ryan wanted to split both things. Right. Because they think I have an idol. Yeah. <laughs> if I can or convince Mario. Mario to go along with Margaret and Ryan's plan, he can vote for you. So that'd be one vote. Margaret and Ryan will vote for you, and then us three can all just vote on Margaret. So it'll be three, two, one. Last off. <laughs> Pass off Margaret out of this game. We've still got 3v3. If either Ryan, Margaret, or Mario don't vote the same, then we're also good. Now we just need Aaron to be gone, and we can rest very easy. I way. can't think of any other problem that would come up. I think I'm definitely getting votes this tribal. It always makes me kind of anxious knowing my name's coming up. It's never a good feeling. But on the other side, every time it's happened, I've known exactly who's voting for me, how many votes I'm going to get, and exactly how I'm going to deflect it onto someone else. So honestly, keep them coming, bring it, keep voting for me, because um, I'm going to send the people voting for me home. Okay, so, um, you, did Ryan talk to you? He sure did. And they don't want to split the votes. I told them that I talked to you and that we were on the consensus that we were splitting the votes. And they were like, well, Ryan was like, I'm going to call Ethan. Like, I just don't want to fully put my trust in somebody that I just, I'm just not sure, you know? If we split the votes and Ethan wants to flip to the other side, that's three votes he could easily vote out one of us. And I don't trust him that much because he's been pretty adamant about wanting to split the votes. Like, I'll be honest, I don't really know exactly where you stand, so it would be really easy for you just to flip on me. Right, and I would rather vote out here because I'm just saying we can get rid of her the better. Mm -hmm. And he just did. He's like, I would feel so much more safe if we split the votes. And Margaret, Margaret is just really stressed out. I'm like, gosh, I can't deal with these people. Like, tribal is in what, 30 minutes? Hey. Exactly. If I didn't have immunity this week, I would walk out. Ooh, let me tell y'all the truth. Let me tell y'all the truth. These people got me fucked up. I don't want to split the votes. It's so just too easy. It's too easy to flip on that. I don't think we should split the votes. I really don't want to. Did you talk to Ryan? I, uh, look, I talked to Ethan and I really tried to convince him. Let me tell y'all what I just found out. But what I've been thinking of this whole time. I sort of realized that there are some people in this game who I cannot beat. Poor, poor Ryan. He is not the smartest tool in the shade. Some of those are Aaron. Some of those are people like Mario. He has come to the realization that there is no way in hell that he's beating me or Margaret. So I was sort of proposing because I feel like you're in a similar situation um, that we make a final three together. Between... You, me, and someone other than Aaron. 
I do run a risk of losing if I take Mario to the final three with me. Basically, the reason why I didn't want to play Mario this week is because I want to use it next week to vote out Mario. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, yeah. What makes you think that we should do that? Um, because I think he could beat us in the end. Next week, he wants to use his idol and vote out Mario. I'm really close with both of them outside of the game. Um, like, I love hanging out with them, and it is a consideration for me because I want to say that I can completely separate emotions from this and just play with my head, but that's not true. Yeah, with Mario, I'm just worried about, I don't wanna- So you wanna go to the final three with him? You know, it hasn't necessarily just been a game, so that, that scares me, you know? I don't want it to be like something that he ends up being really upset about. Yeah. Like, I, I just wonder how far, how far the game is worth it for me. I haven't been playing much of a very public game, like, all of the things that I've been doing have been behind bars. Like, my closest alliances know what I've done, but people on the jury might not know anything about my game. So I wanna have a move that everyone can see um, and that it's a genuinely big and very surprising move and I feel like that would be Mario. Either way, Aaron is going home tonight, so. Exactly. I'm gonna just vote for Aaron. And I'm just gonna just go with it. I'll bark up that tree another day. Everybody has jumped out of time, but guess who's still there? Ethan. Ethan. Ryan, you gotta get me out next week. So that's so what. Next week, who would you wanna target? You know the answer to that. To the A-R-G-A-R-E-T. No. R to the Y to the A-N. The three people that I would like to see gone, 654, is Margaret, Mario, and Aaron. All three of those people have the biggest resumes at this point. But yeah, I would totally be down for the, the final three because, like you said, I think that would be in our best interest. Right now, I'm anticipating a final three between myself, Ryan, and Ellie. I feel like I need to start having tribal councils where Ryan doesn't know what's coming. I need to mess up Ryan's game as much as possible. So do you still want to do this split vote thing? Because I feel um, like if we were to go for Aaron, that would be the best option. So if, for example, Ethan were to flip, then if we were to go all in on Aaron, it would be a tie. I think we're going to be putting a lot of votes on Aaron, and whether you go with us or not, like, it's either going to be Aaron or if Mario votes with us, then a tie. If Ethan snakes on me this week, Ethan, I swear to God, I'm gonna be pissed. Hopefully Margaret's going home tonight. She's the main competition. And also, I don't think I can win against Aaron. Um, I still don't think I could beat you, but <laughs> that's, <laughs> even it's a good, it's a good group because like, I don't think that anyone wants to take either of us to the final three without the yeah. other one, because then they're like, oh, Robert Boss whatever. I mean, of course, I'm a bit biased. I think I have played a great game, but I also am not as bold, and I don't know how much merit you can give that. I mean, I think it deserves a lot of merit. I understand, like, if I were him, I might think it was sketchy, too, but it's sketchy to me that he could flip, so. I just don't think I'm getting the best vibes off of Ethan, and so I don't want to split the votes. Well, as long as he writes down Aaron's name, I don't care. But either way, if that happens and we end up going to rocks, so be it. Like, I'll be safe. Ethan, I don't know what he's doing. Is he still doing that project? At this point, I don't have any solid allies. So basically, I'm going to be flip-flopping, trying to get the targets that I want out, trying to, you know, somehow work my way through these alliances, not getting targeted, while at the same time getting the people who I want out. They just think that you're acting sketch right now, and they think that you're going to flip. How do you know that? Because Ryan just talked to me. So yeah, I really am not loyal to anyone. I'm loyal to myself at this point. I just need them to trust me for one vote. And if I can do that, 
and I can get to the end by playing both sides, flipping, giving the people I want out, I think I have a really solid chance of winning this game. Tommy, Peyton, Kevin, and Lauren voted out at the last tribal council. Ryan, what, what happened last tribal? There was a lot of flipping that went down on both sides. Um, and it definitely changed the dynamic of the game. Could you, could you guys just... <laughs> 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 Say that so for Ponderosa. Who are the people that flipped? So, Margaret, Ryan, Aaron, and Ellie all flipped for Lauren. And then Marty and myself were left to hold the minority. Um, so yeah, it was, it was definitely a tough vote because I think it's no secret, everyone knows that Lauren's my number one ally, and she was Mario's number one ally too, and now she's gone, so... Yeah, it was definitely tough, I feel vulnerable, but at the same time, I just have to keep fighting, I'm not gonna give up. Um, I'm gonna try to make the best of what I have. What do you have right now? I feel like I have multiple options. I don't really feel like I'm necessarily in danger, but... Based on what I feel, I feel like that I have the ability to make the best move I feel like for my game. Mario, was Lauren a big loss for you as well? We know the answer to that question, Genki. Yes, to give a shot. Aaron, so last tribal it seemed like you and Ellie were on the bottom. Is that still the case or is it now Mario and Ethan? Um, I think with six people left, it's hard to figure out who's on the bottom for very long. Um, but yeah, last week, it wasn't just that two people flipped. Ethan and Lauren also flipped on their original alliance, so I wouldn't even say that there's like an original alliance left standing. Margaret, so let's say the two potential minorities are Aaron and Ellie or Mario and Ethan are does that mean like you're on top right now you're safer than the rest i honestly don't think there's a top or a bottom with six people um i think that's just hard to determine when people have voted a lot of different ways um honestly it's looking at the people that have been loyal to you in recent votes things aren't always as clear as they seem <laughs> there's always um like shreds of old alliances too Ellie, so Ethan brought up the idea that there are multiple options. Do you have options to work with for this tribal? You always have options, but there's never that many options that will work. And there's never that many options that will ensure you, like, <laughs> yeah, like you have the clear alliances, like Ryan and Margaret and me and Aaron, like we've been working together, like Ethan and Mario kind of like banded together. Ethan, so you said you had multiple options. Um, do you think you could talk about them or no? I'm basing my vote off of what's going to get me further in the game. Also, trust a little bit because Lauren was the only person in this game who I trusted 100%. And now everyone left in the game is like, I would like to trust them 100%, but I don't. So. I'm basing my vote off of people who I feel like I can trust the most, but also at the same time, people who I feel like if I align myself with them are going to help me get further. Okay. Yeah, uh, Ryan, will there be a split vote or will it just be a cross your fingers and hope for the best situation? I'm basically crossing my fingers at this point. Um, my thoughts of what's going to happen has sort of changed. Um, I'm a little bit nervous now, but I hope that we stick with the original plan. Well, with that, it is time to vote. Margaret, you're up.
you needed to go yesterday, so I'm happy you're going today. Um, Ethan, I hope you don't pull anything tonight because you don't have the numbers to. We'll be happy to see you go, Aaron. <laughs> you're too good. <laughs> This is the best move for my game, and I really pray that you won't take it personally at all and you'll understand. If Ethan does not vote for her, Ethan, you're a fucking idiot because you really think that she's gonna take you farther in the game. That's stupid, she will beat you. I will take you farther in the game, Ethan. Please don't move her. Here I am again for the ninth time or eighth time or tenth time, I don't even know, in a row. And I have a very important vote to make, so let's hop to it. All right. I have the votes. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play one, now would be the time to do so. Okay, I'll read the votes. Once the votes have been read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. First vote. Aaron. Aaron. Third vote. Margaret. Margaret. That's two votes Aaron, two votes Margaret, two votes left. Fifth vote. Aaron. Sixth vote. Margaret. It's a tie. Three versus three. Now what we will do, we will have to go to a re-vote. In the re-vote, Aaron and Margaret will not vote. The rest of you will either vote Aaron or Margaret. Okay? Ellie, you're up. I'm not even gonna sit down for this one. Uh, do the right thing, Ethan. Look, I am back again. Who would have ever thought? Should I switch my vote so we go for rocks because I really know that Ethan's gonna flip back? Do I wanna do that? Do I wanna see some drama? A tie, oh no. All right, I have the votes again. Once the votes have been read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. First vote. Aaron. <laughs> Second vote. Margaret. A second tie. So what that means is we are at a deadlock. The four of you, Elliot, Ryan, Ethan, and Mario, if you cannot come to a unanimous decision between Margaret and Aaron after some discussion, then the people that will be drawing rocks is Ethan, Ryan, and Elliot. Okay? Because Aaron and Margaret will then become safe. Mario has immunity, so he will not have to draw. And 
one of the three of you will be drawing rocks and going home. Okay? Uh, how I'm, willing, I'm willing to hear you out if you will hear me out. Okay, you can go first. Oh, we're just doing this right now. Oh, it's <laughs> Look, half okay. Half 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 when I said I wanted to work with you, I'm 100% in that. But I still see Aaron as the biggest threat in the game. For you, Brian, you have to think about next next challenge and who's going to be a bigger threat to win that. If you want to work together, this is the time to And I'm not willing to do And I'm willing to work with you, but I'm not willing Oh my god! You're willing to risk your game right now. Oh my god! So Mario, Ethan, Ryan, none of you are budging, meaning that it's not going to be an unanimous decision. Yeah, he's not budging. Let's let's just make it a um a what's the word? Like, I'm just surprised y'all willing to go home over this. This I'm is a like, shock. It's very important. This is this. Ryan, is, I'm touched. touched. Ethan, she's gone home. She's gotten through every vote in the past like four weeks. The jury knows it. They're all friends with her. Can I talk to her? Yeah. Yep. Nope. Dang, I thought this was gonna be a short and sweet trial. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think we should just go for rocks. <laughs> Let me talk to that then real quick. Ethan, come here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're dead set. Uh, I think I'm like 99%. <laughs> That's pretty dead set. If you're, because I'm willing to repeat it, Ellie, I want to go to the end. I think we both have good chances. Oh, shit, you don't want to go to the end with you. Oh, I definitely do. You told me you wanted to go to the end with me. I would lie about that. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> I mean, like... And e I told Ethan about this, too. I'm gonna leave it up to chance. I mean, like, I'm... I just, like... I think there are some facts we should look at, and it's that you guys cheer every time Erin has immunity around her neck, and I think going one vote further with her, I just think it makes no sense. And, like, I'm... You know, love you to death, but you're so good. You're a really good player. And that's something I want you to consider, Ethan, because I was, like, when I talked to you earlier before break, I didn't tell you a lie. I was truthful to you, and we both flipped on each other last week, and we both need to own that and take responsibility for what happened. But ultimately, I think we can see that there's, like, a root to this, and the root is the person that is cleaning up this game. I, I do think if Eric goes to the final three, like, she'll win. She ain't got no problem with that. That's the thing. But okay, here's the thing. Like, it's not a million dollars on the stage. When we're talking like, about jury votes, is those three dweebs over there might like me, but that's less than a majority. Like, like Ethan, I think that you're best bet is you're an Ellie. Well, like, we have to think about it. Yeah, I'm not going to vote for Ellie. 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 Yeah, I'm not going to vote for
I would take you to Final Three. Nice to hear, Ellie. Actually, honestly, that was good. Like like, like, okay. Wow, Ellie. <laughs> wow, Ellie. Anyways, what I'm saying is that. Okay, and this isn't her fault. No. No. Another classroom. I'm really bad about picking my hate nails, um, especially when I'm anxious. This situation is okay. Yeah. Doing a good, good deed to my. You made a decision, Nikki. Oh. All right. You've made a decision. What? Ethan, what's the decision? We have unanimously agreed to send her. Mario, you agree? Oh yeah, I voted for her. Ryan? Yep. Ellie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, with that, you guys have unanimously decided to Send Aaron home. Aaron? Give them all, give them all. All of you. Thanks, guys. Bye, Aaron. I've never been so broken up about a decision that's, that's ever in my life. Ellie, I'm <laughs> sorry that you. That was so cool. All right. At least we don't have to about working together. That's like it's on. Well, after quite. A divided tribal. Mm. You guys were able to come to an unanimous decision. Hopefully, it won't be as rocky <laughs> in the future. Oh, you want to be rocky? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, you guys have been listening to Ellie and Ryan talk about a decision that they made. I think as soon as it went, as soon as it was a tie vote, I knew that I was going to go, um, because I don't think that I think I had fun in this game, and I think I left it all on the table, and I'm proud of the way I played, and yeah, I'm excited to see how the rest of the game goes. Hey everyone, I hope you all enjoyed the end of episode 13. Pretty crazy travel council. You know, thank God for me, thank God I made it out. There's just one more episode to go, which is the finale. Five people left. It should be a battle, it should be a showdown. I just wanted to hop in here to say that next Wednesday we will not be having an episode. Just because I'm not quite done with editing it yet. Uh, I have a couple final touches to put on it, so it should be a couple weeks before it comes out. I want it to be perfect. I want it to finish up the season in a great way. I think it will. Definitely follow at Survivor UVA on Instagram and Twitter. That's where you'll have updates on when the episode will be coming out. Thank you to everyone. Thank you for all your support. It's been great seeing all your feedback and comments, and it means so much to me and the club in general. Go ahead and fill out the episode poll for this episode. As always, leave your comments. And I'm very excited to get to getting this finale out because I think it should be a great end to the season. And I think you guys are all going to love it. So I'll see you guys in hopefully a couple weeks. Shouldn't be too long. After 86 days and our greatest season yet, the finish line is finally in sight. I'm excited that I'm in the final five. I'm so grateful for this experience. Oh, I finally felt like I'd earned my keep. Everything has led us here, and tonight, one of these five players will be crowned as the newest winner of Survivor UVA. For all of us, this has become a big part of our lives, that everyone wants to win. 